good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog i actually look disgusting so for today's video i thought we'd just do a little vlog because i'm really stuck for ideas at the minute and i have no idea what to film so if you guys could let me know down below some video ideas that would really help me out a lot i hope that help me so today is what day is it wednesday i've just made myself some spaghetti hoops on toast i'm literally feel like a 10 year old and then i've also just got some milk in a starbucks cup Lots of people don't like drinking milk like this. I just don't understand it, to be honest. I don't really want to film vlogs because I do spend like 80% of my day in bed at the minute. Because my back is still quite bad. But, whenever I ask you guys what videos you want to see, you always say vlogs. So, I hope this vlog is somewhat entertaining. Even though I'm going to be in the house all day, doing nothing. Might put some makeup on. It's just one of them. I had some deliveries today, so I'll show you them in a bit. But, I didn't order on Doll Beauty. And then I've also got a collab with Missy Empire over on TikTok. So I'll leave my TikTok on the screen. Go follow me on TikTok if you want to see how I style them. Twinks is down here. <laughs> the dogs had a haircut yesterday and Twinks had like her first ever haircut. And she was like scraggly and cute. The door's just opened. She, she was like scraggly and cute. And now she's like... I don't know how to explain it. I feel like she doesn't even look like the same dog. And I don't know how I feel about it, you know? Hello, Twinkles. <laughs> She's giving me a paw because she thinks she's going to get food. Hello, Twinkles. So yeah, her and Sparks had their hair cut yesterday. Sparks looked handsome. I'll show you in a bit. He's in the living room. But because she's had her first hair cut, she just doesn't look like the same dog. And it makes me a little bit sad, Twinks. Right. Give her a spaghetti hoop. I mean, Twinks always share breakfast, by the way. If I have eggs on toast, I'll always give Twinks some eggs. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to sit here and eat this. And then I'm going to have a shower, I think. And then... I'm gonna put some makeup on and get ready for nothing, literally nothing. I don't really want to do a vlog where I look like this all day. I want to look presentable. I actually, I look like an egg. I had my shower. By the way, my face looks so pale because I don't tan my face because it just sticks to all my little dry patches and that's not fun. So I've had my shower, as you can see. I've got my hair in a bun on top of my head. My roots really need doing. I haven't had my extensions done since before Christmas and I just feel like a hot mess. But I'm gonna show you guys what I've been using on my skin recently because. My skin is so dry. Why is the bun in the back of my head? <laughs> this is like what I've been doing recently because I've learned when putting makeup on, because I'm going to put a bit of makeup on today because I don't want to look like this all day on camera. When putting makeup on, it's all about like the base of like what's actually underneath your makeup. So first I use this, which is just like a Vaseline body lotion. I feel like Vaseline's got the most like moisture in it for my skin. I feel like it's the only thing that actually feels like it's been like absorbed because I've used like Aveeno and stuff. It doesn't work. And then I even use like Glam Glow, which is an expensive skincare brand. But even then, I didn't really feel like it really made that much difference. And then I've been using this, and it's the Pixie Glow Mist. I got this in a glossy box a while ago. But I've been using this just underneath my makeup. You can use it under or after whenever you want. So I drown myself in this. Let that soak in. As you can see already, my skin is just looking a lot more alive, even though it's pale as anything. Oh, I can't wait to put some makeup on. I haven't put makeup on in a while and I just feel disgusting. I've been sat here like, I've even got two little legs. <laughs> so now that's soaked in, I also use this, which is from Glossy Box. It's the Glossy Box 3-in-1 Moisturiser. I feel like, I think you have to be a Glossy Box subscriber to be able to get the skincare, but honestly, it's so good. And that is it. That is like what I use before putting makeup on. And I feel like my skin is just a lot more alive and hydrated. I don't know what this is as well. I work with lots of sort of rash on my cheek here, so that is fun. So I'm going to get ready now. I'm not going to show it on camera because I feel like I do that in every single vlog. But yeah, I'm going to put some makeup on, do my hair, sort myself out so I don't look like this anymore. And then I will show you guys what I got in the post today. What the postman bought me today. So I've got ready and I wasn't going to wear lashes today. But then I remembered that my cousin, she's got her own little lash business. So I'll leave her Instagram on the screen now. We're all about supporting small businesses now. And it's Lashes by Katie on Instagram. And she's just started up her own like little lash business. And she sent me out some of her lashes to try. So if you're like me and you love a big, massive, fluffy, dramatic eyelash, then these are for you. They're so affordable as well. Oh my God. Got loads in here. Oh my God, she sent me six pairs of her lashes. Thank you, Katie, so much. This is so cute. Right. Ooh, every single pair looks like a bit of me. So these are the Star A15. Ignore my nails, by the way. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to save these ones for like a festival or something because they're so big and so fluffy. They are perfect for festival season which is coming up soon so next we have a17 i feel like these ones are my favorite because they're like a typical style of lash that i would go for where they're bigger on the ends 
and then shorter at the front. These are beautiful. And then these ones, oh my, these are huge. <laughs> So these are in the star A13. Look at the size of them. They are absolutely massive. I don't think I've ever seen lashes that big and fluffy. Oh my god. And then when you open them as well, as you can see from the sides, they are very soft and fluffy. And then the next ones we've got are A20. They're like a little bit of a more subtle version than the last ones I've just shown you. So they are still big, fluffy and dramatic, but just a little bit more subtle. These are gorgeous as well. And then the last two don't actually have numbers on them, but I'm sure you can find them on her page anyway. So these are the final two pairs. These are like more of a wispy, more natural lash. So if you are looking for a more natural kind of style, these are perfect. And then we've got another massive dramatic pair on the top. These are beautiful. I think I'm going to put some of these on today. I think I'm going to use A17. They're like big and fluffy, but still not too dramatic for like every day. But yeah, make sure you go over and follow Katie's Instagram. It would mean so much to her and so much to me. Supporting small businesses is what we're all about recently. So, oh, these do have things on them. I've just noticed these ones have the names of the size. This one's seven and this one's 16. So I'm gonna pop these lashes on and then I'll be back. How beautiful are these lashes? I need to sort my hair right now, but I'm in love with these. They're so big and so fluffy. I love them. I feel like your makeup is never actually fully complete without lashes. So I've not been wearing lashes recently, but putting a pair of lashes on now, especially these ones. I'm obsessed, they're so nice. I feel like they're going to be my new go-to lashes. They were so easy to put on as well. It took me about 20 seconds. But yeah, I'm going to do my hair, get dressed, and then probably go and chill in bed. I'm not going to lie. So it's been a few hours since I picked up the camera because Oak was on a meeting, so I couldn't talk. So I just kind of sat there. Watched Big Bang for you for like... An hour and a half and then I decided, actually I've got makeup on so I'm going to come and film a Zara haul. So I'll film a Zara haul. I don't know which will be up first so if the Zara haul's up first, link is in the description. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I got from Missy Empire. I'm not going to be trying them on in this vlog just because I'm too lazy to. But um, follow my TikTok or leave it on the screen if you want to see these outfits styled. I'm so excited for this and so grateful as well. Because without you guys watching my videos, like even on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, then none of this would actually be possible. So massive thank you to you guys. Also, I just realised that this lighting looks a lot for a vlog. It's because if I have the light off, you literally can't see me so i'm gonna have to sit with that on for now because it's like six o'clock now so i feel like everybody's heard about the missy empire jumpsuit like the chocolate brown missy empire jumpsuit so best believe i had to like i had to test it out <gasps> it's beautiful so this is the jumpsuit it's just like one of the long sleeves leggings ones it's a nice thick rib material and then it does up at the front of the zip that is sick i love the fact that it's like a jersey material i had one of these from pretty little thing before and it was just like normal cotton and i was like oh i've a lot too much is exposed so the material of that excited to wear that and then to pair with that i picked out this little bag how cute is this little bag this bag will also go with the other outfit so it like does both that's sick also for this outfit i picked out some sunglasses to go with it as well just to make it more like springy vibes how sick are these so i feel like we all know how i feel about a wide leg pair of trousers especially leather ones so I picked out these ones from Missy Empire. I do have some in stone. They're like a split hem, but they're they're out of stock in my size in the black. Um, but I wanted some new black leather trousers, so I picked out these ones. I quite like this crisscross detail on the front, which is meant to be really flattering, so I can't wait to try those on. And then to go with those, I was so torn about picking like a nice like satin top, then I thought there's no point. I'm gonna go for like comfy vibes, so I picked out this jumper. It's a black crew neck jumper, and then it just says Missy Empire in nude here coming up white on camera but it's actually like a brown text and that's really really nice and the quality feels really nice as well kind of want to put that on now but i'm not going to so yeah that is everything that i picked up from missy empire massive shout out to them for sending it out to me and a massive shout out to you guys for making it all possible um what i'm gonna do now i actually don't know this is what my life has come to i'm just constantly not knowing what to do with any of my day or time so i think i'm just gonna go and take my makeup off and then get into my pajamas because i kind of want to wear this again tomorrow this little lounge set. This was so comfy to wear today. The lighting in this room is really bad, I am sorry, but makeup is off. And then I'm just going to use the same products that I used earlier, like before I put makeup on. So I'm going to use the Vaseline Moisturiser, the Pixie Glow Mist, and then also my Blasty Box Moisturiser. Not that anybody cares, but in case just one person did, that's what I'm going to use. 
Now that I look like a shiny seven year old boy, <laughs> it's time to take this tracksuit off and then my dressing gown hanging right here is calling my name. We're waiting for dinner, but I think it's gonna be like another hour because we're having a Sunday dinner on a Wednesday, I know. So I'm gonna have like a pre-dinner snack because I'm quite hungry. All I've had today is spaghetti hoops on toast. So I think I'm gonna have a chicken and cheese toasty. That sounds unreal. Even though it is before dinner, YOLO. Also wardrobe update, I need to sort it all out. I've got like, this stuff needs to go away. That needs to go away, that needs to go away. But my back is telling me no right now. Like I can't physically bend down there and keep sorting out a whole wardrobe, you know. So that is gonna be a task for another day. Yep, yeah, my pre-dinner snack. Yay. Thanks, Angel. Cheers. <laughs> we have a wild Otto <laughs> that never gets out of bed. So this is a rare occasion. Hello, Otto. You having a good day? Want some dinner? Want some dinner? Oh, I've just put it in his water grate. Want some dinner? He's so cute. I gave him a bath the other day and he actually hated it. And he fell out with me for a week, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a little look on Zara, even though <laughs> I've definitely gone there way too often. And I really wanted these jeans, but they're sold out in my size. So then I looked for the pink ones. And guess what? Sold out. But then I just saw that they've dropped yellow. I don't know if they're like newer. But best believe I ordered them. Cop them too. Cop them. They look so sick with like a yellow shirt on top. Oh. So hopefully that'll be a good outfit. We're just doing some editing, finishing off some stuff that I need to do. And then it's dinner time. Yay. Favourite time of the day. Oh, it hasn't been it. it did a little, 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 little. Let's try that again, shall I? Come on, Oh, it hasn't been <laughs> in the vlog today. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. It's been a lonely vlog today with just me. But we had loads of fun, haven't we, guys? We've done have you? What have you done today? Absolutely on, nothing. Just like every day for the past four weeks. Treating myself and put makeup on today, though. Oh, no, you actually did. That was like actually got out of quietly. bed. But I did spend about 80% of the day in bed, so. I hope this vlog's long enough because I don't, <laughs> don't really know what we did. What a fun vlog. <laughs> well, whenever I ask what you guys want to see, you always say vlogs, so enjoy. Is anybody else dying with hay fever right now? I oh know, I never had it, well I've always had it, but like this year I didn't really have it that bad. Oh, it's had it now for like a week. But tonight I'm sniffling. I've had like the record amount of sneezes that I've ever had. I oh know, I'm sick of saying bless you. I had like six in a <laughs> row and my eyes are literally watering. But we're going to end today's vlog here because it's something past 11 and we're going to get to sleep. Oak's got work tomorrow, I've got a day of lying in bed tomorrow. But I'm making little moons tomorrow so that video will oh already God. be up I think. Can't wait for you to. And you got to make me food as well, because you said downstairs. No, I didn't. She, she did, she did. I actually didn't. Yeah, you did. No, you I asked. didn't. I said I'll make everyone. Oh. <laughs> I said I'll make food for the whole family. They said no. <laughs> no. Well, That's I'll... how good my cooking skills are, guys. <laughs> I offered to make food and they all said no. <laughs> you only offered because it was peer pressure, in it? I know, they're all slagging me off, saying that I'm a crap housewife. <laughs> But I can't cook to save my life. I can't make toast. You gotta learn. I can't make Yorkshire puddings. Don't chop my arm. I am a good cook. I can make pasta. <laughs> but I'm going to end like here. <laughs> on that note. So thank you for watching. If I can make pasta. did enjoy, smash a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Today we hit 7k as well. Didn't get to film my reaction because I was in bed. But thank you so much if you're one of them people. Or if you're not, subscribe. Let's get to 8. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and we will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye. See ya.